What's up, my Big Mac snack wraps? It's your boy, the Miggity 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 Mac. And welcome to another show. On today's show, we have a home cooked meal. Um, I told y'all I've been trying to do the home cooked meals, the healthier options, and all that stuff. So today we have some air fried macro croquettes. Um, and just some macros. You know, y'all know how to make croquettes. Um, so yeah, but I air fried them. And we have some mashed potatoes back here. I made these mashed potatoes. Um, well, they're the instant mashed potatoes, but they're like the plain ones. So I had to, I added some garlic, a little ranch, and some uh, bacon bits to it. And then we have some sweet peas and onions right here. I'm gonna say a prayer, y'all, and we gonna get into this. Hey man, I've been wanting this for a long, long time. So I'm gonna just, dig in but this is my first time this is my first time ever making mackerel croquettes my mom always made them it's a favorite of mine that she makes so this is my first time making them um bam y'all know i got the, the lips hot sauce gotta do it i'm gonna taste it without it real quick see what it's hitting for See if I did a good job on it. I hope I did. That's the inside, y'all. Mm -hmm. I did pretty good for my first time. I didn't season it a lot, though. Cause I knew I was gonna use the hot sauce. You know, this hot sauce already has sodium in it. So, boom, there you go. That's it with the hot sauce. Mm. 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 It's my favorite combination with it. Sweet peas and mashed potatoes. That's how my mom always fix it. Mm. So I'm a snack what I was doing out there. Hope y'all are doing good. Can y'all see the onion in there? Pinkies up, y'all. We're gonna swirl a little bit, then we're gonna mm. sip a little bit. And this, of course, is some lemon water. Y'all, I can't, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm sweating, sweating like a hog. Because this is fresh out the kitchen. I came straight from the kitchen to the table. I'm over there slaving over stove for y'all. Mm. So this is my version of a fish fry Friday for y'all. But it's air fried. So basically you take the mackerel, you can make mackerel, salmon, or tuna croquettes, or crab, but they call them crab cakes when they're crab. So basically you take your canned um, mackerels, I use canned mackerels, you take them, you pour the juice into a separate little like cup just to save the juice. So in case it's a little dry, you can use it to um, make it a little more juicier, the mixture. So you open the can, you drain the juice, you pour the macros into a bowl, and then you gotta kinda go through each piece 
and there's like a little spine or a little bone just take that out and then after that you're gonna mash it up uh you crack an egg over in there um i chopped up some onions you season it how you want to season it add some flour to make it more of a thicker consistency and you mix it all up until it's like almost like you know so you can make it into a, um, a patty the consistency so you can make it a good patty then you just pat it out you can, you can fry it or you can air fry it i air fried mine for 10 minutes on one side for 390 on 390 and then the other one was like 360 for seven minutes on the other side and boom or you can pan fry them that lemon juice now one can made about made five patties for me i'm only eating three because remember this is eat put on your plate what you can eat shout out to cousin ab for the idea <clears throat> just put on your plate what you go eat we're doing real food real portions over here Mm. I even make this low carb. Just substitute the flour for like what's the other flour? Almond flour, arrowroot flour. There's different kind of like low carb flours. I didn't have any at this at this time. I just had regular flour. And of course, you could do garlic. I mean, cauliflower mash. Mm. Y'all definitely gonna see this meal again. So y'all, guess what I found out? I found out that my show has come back on Solve Mysteries on Netflix now. I don't know about y'all, but when that show came on, I knew it was time to go to bed. That theme music, that theme music is, was scary. And then um, Robert Stack, the host, well, he used to host it. He has passed away since, but his voice was scary. But they still got the theme music. It's a little updated, but same theme music. And it's still scary. Ooh, and then when that show used to come on, it was time to go to bed, turn the TV off. I'm going under the covers. Because these are all unsolved mysteries. So they would have stuff about ghosts and killers. And I'm like, these people are still on the loose. And Cause it's unsolved. Mm. But I'm a. I watched two episodes already. I'm a. I'm a champion through it.
Would, did y'all did y'all watch Unsolved Mysteries as kids growing up? If you're an '80s baby or '90s kid, um, if so, was y'all was y'all scared of that show? Or what show scared you as a kid? Another show that scared me, but I couldn't stop watching it. Tales from the Crypt. Especially at the opening when he would pop out of that coffin. That used to scare me. Mm -mm -mm. But I just couldn't stop watching it. Because I love a good horror anthology series. So, Tales from the Crypt, Tales from the Dark Side, Twilight Zone, um, Outer Limits. Oh, that was another scary one. Not as scary, but sometimes when that came on, it was time to go to bed. Um, Masters of Horror. Um, you like stuff like that. That was just my That was my thing growing up It still is I love scary movies And all that So if you ever meet me Are we gonna watch a movie That's my pick It's gonna be scary And that not like paranormal, like stuff like that isn't scary to me. At least not in movie form. And if it happened in real life, that's a different story. Mm. But uh, in movies, I like slasher films and monster movies and stuff like that. And stuff with makeup effects. Mm. If y'all notice me eating funny, it's because this hot sauce is hot. So I'm kind of eating like this. Because the tip of my tongue is burning. But I can't stop eating it. This hot sauce is good. But it's hot. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, I'm a big Stephen King fan as well. Anything scary, I'm into. Well, almost anything. Because some movies take it too far. Like, there's this one movie called Audition. And some of the scenes in that movie, I have never watched it, but I heard. I can't watch enough stuff like that. Anything that I do with poking somebody in the eye or ripping off somebody's fingernails, I can't watch that. Something about that I can't watch. Knock somebody's head off, that's fine. Take somebody's guts and wrap it around their head and pull it to the head pop off. I'm game for it. 
of pulling somebody's nails out, their fingers. Or poking and stabbing somebody in the eye. Mm -mm. You have crossed the line. I saw something crawling on my head. Mm. Well, you guys, that's it. If you made it this far, please leave a fish emoji down in the comments down below. Mm, excuse me. I enjoyed this video. I enjoyed this food. I enjoyed talking to y'all. Um, yeah, so shout out to all my day ones. All my new subscribers, everybody in between. Um, we moving full steam ahead, y'all. The numbers are coming back up. So... We in there. We're like at 9,030 something or 40 maybe right now. Um, but yeah. So I thank y'all for continuing to show support. Um, I didn't do a video yesterday, so I will be doing another video tomorrow. Or another video will be out tomorrow. I was trying to do Monday through Friday, but that didn't work. So I'm going to give y'all another, another video tomorrow. Um, but yeah. I will see you guys there. Until we eat again, my little snack wraps. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Peace.